we celebrate the Feast of All Saints. We are reminded that we are part of something bigger than ourselves. Here at Woodbury Forest, we are part of a brotherhood of tens of thousands of boys who have sat in this chapel over 100 years. Your life, your actions, and your integrity is yoked to theirs, as theirs is to you. Just as you all now sit here and listen to the names of alumni boys who have died this year, someday in the future, a boy just like you will stand in this very chapel and read your name after you have died. This is how the brotherhood is connected between generations, forming an intergenerational tapestry of brotherhood and communion. And Woodbury Forest School, too, is a part of something bigger than itself. As a singular institution, it, too, will eventually pass away into dust. Institutions survive longer than individuals, but they too come to an end. We are here tonight to recognize and celebrate, and celebrate something that is bigger than us, and bigger than Woodbury. We are here to celebrate the truth to which your lives and the life of this institution hopefully will testify. The truth that hate does not ultimately triumph over love. That discord does not ultimately triumph over harmony. That despair does not ultimately triumph over hope. That doubt does not ultimately triumph over faith. And finally, and most clearly witnessed in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the truth that death does not ultimately triumph over life. We gather here today with everyone who has ever participated in this truth, here at Woodbury and in the world. It is a truth to which our school points. It is a truth to which we hope that you all will aspire through lives of honor, integrity, and courage. Tonight, we gather together as a band of brothers, defying the bondage of time and space and even death. Amasai Uswe, Adoras. St. John Bain, class of 1944. St. John Bain, known to his friends as Saint, was born on October 7, 1926, in Norfolk, Virginia. After graduating from Woodbury Forest in 1944, Saint immediately enlisted in the Navy to serve his country. He was the only non-college graduate selected to participate in the Eddie Sonar and Radar Research Program, where he trained at the Great Lakes Naval Center and then was stationed at the Washington Naval Laboratories. After the war, he earned his degree from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and relocated to Cincinnati, where he began a successful 35-year career with the Formica Corporation. He met his wife, Gail, on the tennis court, and they shared a fun-filled and loving marriage for 63 years. During that time, St. cultivated a love of racket sports. He holds the record for the most unbroken tennis championships at his club in Cincinnati, and he was a two-time national champion and two-time national finalist in paddle tennis. He was known to his friends as deeply moral, humble, and kind, and he possessed an irrepressible sense of humor. He adored his wife, his family, his friends, his sports, and his crossword puzzles, and he brightened spaces when he entered with his familiar greeting of, hello sports fans. The enduring commitments that defined his life, his marriage, his country, his career, his passion for sports and competition, and his family and friends are the marks of a life well lived. Consistent with his enduring commitments and service to others, Saint never disconnected from Woodbury, 
serving as a class agent and member of the Walker Society. St. John Bain, Amasai, Rusque, Araras. Mr. John W. Graham, class of 1941. Mr. Oscar Green, Jr., class of 1942. Mr. George M. Kernan, Jr., class of 1943. Mr. William K. Stevenson, class of 1943. Mr. Robert E. Hines, class of 1944. Dr. William B. Jones, Jr., class of 1944. Mr. A. Baker Duncan, class of 1945. Mr. James Q. Agnew, class of 1946. The Honorable James C. Fox, class of 1946. Mr. George F. Darden, Jr., class of 1947. Mr. Andrew D. Hart, Jr., class of 1947. Mr. John A. Leander, class of 1947. Mr. Gregory S. Morissette, class of 1948. Mr. Clay V. Ring, Jr., class of 1948. Mr. Otis W. Howe, Jr., class of 1949. The Honorable Thomas J. Mitchie, class of 1949. Mr. Harry T. Saxton, Jr., class of 1949. Dyson Janney, class of 1949. Dyson Janney was born on August 30th, 1931 in Newark, New Jersey. Growing up, Tyson lived in seven different states in nine different homes. Thanks to his parents' foresight and generosity, he was able to attend Woodbury Forest School and then Washington and Lee University. After graduation, Tyson spent two years in the Marine Corps serving his country in the Korean War. Tyson was deeply faithful and a devoted churchman, serving on church vestries and attending Sunday worship every week in Charlottesville. He was married to the love of his life, Sally, for almost 60 years, who preceded him into God's kingdom by only 18 months. Sally and Tyson raised three children and 11 grandchildren. One of his sons and four of his grandsons followed in his footsteps to Woodbury Forest, including current fifth former Daniel Jan. Tyson spent 35 years in a variety of marketing and advertising jobs, and he put his skills to use in retirement by designing the logo for the Charlottesville-based Toothless Tigers, a group of Woodbury alumni who gather every month for lunch, Woodbury updates, and a Woodbury guest speaker. His love for Woodbury was palpable, so it was fitting that all of his surviving Woodbury children and grandchildren sang Amasai together at his funeral. Tyson Janney believed in God's kingdom and the bonds that are stronger than death. His faith in his committed service and care for those he loved are a model for us all. Tyson Janney, Amasai Usque Adaras. Sir Evans B. E. Rosfield, class of 1950. Mr. Thomas N. Honeycutt III, class of 1950. Mr. George C. Mountcastle, class of 1950. Mr. Bernard W. McCray, Jr., class of 1952. Mr. James S. Parrish III, class of 1952. Mr. Clinton W. Toms III, class of 1953. Mr. Edward L. Irvin, class of 1954. Mr. Frank E. Mower II, class of 1954. Mr. Thomas C. Powell III, class of 1954. Mr. R. Donald Faulkner, class of 1955. Mr. James B. McCall III, class of 1955. Mr. Joseph B. Amsbury, class of 1956. Mr. John B. Meek, Jr., class of 1956. 
Mr. J. Winston Watts III, class of 1958. Mr. John B. Banks, class of 1959. Snyder Garrison. Class of 1953. <coughs> Snyder Garrison was born in Gastonia, North Carolina on August 28, 1935. After graduating from Woodward, he earned a degree from the University of North Carolina before serving as a captain in the United States Marine Corps. After he served his country, he spent his career in the furniture business, but spent much of his time serving, new, serving numerous civic organizations for the betterment of his community. Snyder was an Eagle Scout, and consistent with that distinction, he enjoyed outdoor activities throughout his life, and was a deeply faithful man and generous member of his church community. He is survived by his four children and seven grandchildren, two of whom graduated from Woodbury Forest. His son Harley wrote, quote, Dad always loved Woodbury. He and I talked a lot about Woodbury during his final days. The school really shaped his life. He loved to tell the story about third form orientation. He walked outside during a break and lit up a cigarette. He received 100 demerits on his first day at Woodbury. Back then, boys had to run a mile for each demerit. Leonard Dick was the track coach and quickly discovered my dad. He went on to be all state in the half mile and ran varsity track in college. Close quote. Snyder served as a class agent and member of the advisory council for Woodbury, and he clearly loved the place to the end of his life. His, his life of integrity, service, and generosity are a reminder of the values we hold dear. Snyder Garrison, Amasai Usque, Adoras. Mr. John S. Edgerton, class of 1962. Mr. Ralph L. File, class of 1963. Mr. Frederick A. Thomas II, class of 1965. Mr. Henry P. Dyerly, Jr., <coughs> class of 1968. Mr. Robert E. Sebrell, class of 1969. Mr. Thomas R. Shields, class of 1970. Mr. Allen T. Pryor III, class of 1971. Mr. Richard L. Berger, class of 1975. Mr. Donald H. Zirkel, class of 1977. Mr. D. Vaughn Mars, class of 1971. Mr. Charles P. Smith IV, class of 1988. Mr. B. Parks Fries III, class of 1991. Mr. Hollis Joseph Hamilton Christendon, class of 2004. Mr. William Bowles Sr. Miss Sally Witt Duncan. Miss Elizabeth A. Glasscock. Mr. Richard C. McKenzie, Dr. Harrison W. Straley IV, Miss Eleanor St. Clair Vasquez, Mr. Emmett W. Wright, Jr. <coughs> 